On the 24th of February, traders and residents of Clifton Street called an emergency meeting with the council to discuss the impact of the new one-way system on the area. The meeting was held at St German's Church Hall and chaired by Father Roy Doxey. We had the two councillors and the two development officers with us um, and about, I would think, over 100 people here. Um, without exception, nobody wanted the scheme to carry on. So the council, fair, fair dues to our dear councillors, who are good chaps, both of them fair dues, um, they said, well, they didn't know they could do anything, and the development officer felt that they should just carry on regardless. And I'm afraid that did anger a few, and we did have a few heated people here, to say the least. But I tried to get out of the meeting the general feeling of sense of balanced people and in the end it, we decided that we should set up a pressure group who would now take it further to the AMP and the MP and any other hierarchy people that we need to go to and as a matter of urgency because the development officer is suggesting it carries on, they carry on spending more and more thousands on the street which in the end will have to be ripped out because it will have to come to an end or kill off the community. When they talked about improving Clifton Street, we were 100% for it, um, but then they came out with this idea of having a one-way system, and I personally didn't think it was a good idea, seeing as it would divert the traffic all the way back into Newport Road. Um, but what's even worse come out of it is that it's desperately affected the shopkeepers there, and um, they're losing trade, up to 60 to 80% of their trade. According to those who were in the know, they said it was wanted, but none of the traders have said they wanted it. Um, and consequently, I think you've got to recognise it's been a mistake, even though they thought they wanted it in the first place. It's been a desperately wrong mistake. And if you're going to kill off a street, and in the end also part of the community, because the older people go and shop there as well as other people, then what is the sense of going on with it? So I'm afraid we're militantly going for it and say, you've got to change it. The council say, no, they can't, it's now in place, but the council belong to us, they work for us, and our line is that we employ you, so you do as we require you. And it's going to cost thousands more to put right, but it's going to cost even more thousands, and the livelihood of lots of families and the community here are going to suffer for it. You stop it, it's as simple as that, really.